shock tonight after a crossing guard was hit by a car outside of Pulaski County School. What we've learned about the investigation. It is a big fire for Stanton, and this is a very old building. A fire destroyed a Powell County business today. Now people in the area at the time rushed in to help. Governor Bevin has announced his list of vetoes, which includes a bill that would create a new Kentucky driver's license. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening to you. It has been another stormy night across much of Kentucky, and right now a line of storms is marching across the bluegrass. And parts of our state have seen some severe weather as well. For the very latest, we begin with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey and the Defender Radar Network. Most of the severe weather today, guys, relegated to the western part of Kentucky. That same line of storms, though, producing some wind damage and even a tornado into western Kentucky is now into central Kentucky, but it is in weakened fashion. And if you look right now at where this line is, our future radar we were sharing with you back at 6 o'clock tonight absolutely nailed this line of thunderstorms that, as of 11 o'clock tonight, said would be marching into the downtown Lexington area. And here we are. Line of storms now racing toward parts of Somerset, Monticello, back to the Russell Springs area, Lake Cumberland with some thunder and some lightning. No warnings are out, so that is certainly some good news. But this line continues to pack a punch as it rolls its way toward the east. Folks around Boyle County, Danville, Stanford, you had some help producing thunderstorms a little earlier. You're going to get hit again. Harrodsburg, Salvisa, that extends now toward Woodford County. Look at the little complex of lightning showing up between Frankfort and Georgetown, west side of Lexington. Showers and thunderstorms are now inching toward the downtown area. Live sky cam looking toward that western horizon. Sometimes we can get lucky on this and catch a couple of flashes of lightning right now. Storm is being a little on the shy side. Who can blame it? We go to the northwest, though. Notice the leading edge of this, how we go from nothing to all of a sudden you start to see those oranges and the reds. That can typically be indicative on a radar view of getting some gusty winds greater than 40 miles an hour. I think we're going to see that shortly into Georgetown. Stamping ground back over toward the Midway area, capital city of Frankfurt. Thunderstorms continue to race their way on toward the east. All of this along a boundary that is setting up shop across central and eastern Kentucky. That future radar, the same one that nailed this evening's storms, showing much more tame pattern settling in as we go into later tonight and tomorrow. Guys, when I come back in a few minutes, I'll show you how we get a small break before weekend storms press into town. Another heavy rain threat comes your way at 1113. It happened just minutes before class is dismissed for the day. Investigators say a car hit a crossing guard outside of Pulaski County School. And now they say he's in critical condition. The car hit the man this afternoon in the parking lot of Southwestern High School. New tonight, Garrett Weimer talked to people who know him. It's our top story at 11. Folks nearby had a hard time wrapping their heads around what happened. Outside Southwestern High School. I don't know I don't, what. Yeah, that's crazy. That is pretty crazy. I don't know about it. Cell phone video shows the scene after the crossing guard was hit. Investigators say he was critically injured. We're told the man was flown to the hospital at the University of Tennessee. One man who graduated from the high school several years ago says he knows the crossing guard, who he says is also a custodian at the school here. He says he's a good man who's been at the school for years. There's no way. Brandon Mayfield's grandmother is also a yeah. custodian at the school. He says he was worried about her when he found out what happened. When I first heard about it, I had to like I had to call her and ask her about it because I was making sure that she was okay and she wouldn't run over. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd think a janitor out of school is one of the safest jobs you could have, but it was raining at the time. Investigators call it all a tragic accident. Others agree it's a tragedy. Well, it's, it's a shame. Uh, Sending out prayers to the, the family, you know. It's a, it's a shame. It's, it's a tragedy. In Pulaski County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Right now, there is no word on the man's condition at this hour. Investigators say they do not expect to file charges. Tonight, fire destroyed a historic Powell County building and a well known business inside. The fire began this afternoon at the Just Plain Fancy Boutique on Main Street in downtown Staten. Workers at the business say people passing by rushed to help them. Monique Blair has the latest on the fire.
And that's when I noticed smoke coming from the roof. Tyler Bellamy was next door to the building that houses the just plain fancy boutique, as well as two apartments, when he says he realized it was on fire. Bellamy says that's when he started banging on all the doors to the building. I'm trying to just make sure everybody got out because the smoke was pouring out pretty heavy. Hannah Curtis was working inside the boutique when the smoke started to cloud the inside. Curtis says there have been electrical issues lately, but she never expected this to happen. I've never had to call 911 before, so <laughs> I was just freaking out. I don't know. It was scary. As emergency crews were on their way, Curtis says many people who were driving by stopped and immediately began to see if anyone needed help. Many of those people also running inside the building to help salvage some of the store's items. And there was like so many people that stopped and were trying to help and stuff and they I think they eventually told them like you cannot go in no more like you will go to jail if you go in anymore. If something goes wrong everybody wants to be there for, for everybody. Now this is what the building looks like several hours after this fire was put out and firefighters tell me the building is likely a complete loss. It is a big fire for Stanton and this is a very old building. They said it's approximately 100 years old. I know when I was a young man it was here. In Stanton. That's the first thing, make sure all lives are safe. You know, belongings, you can always replace that. Monique Blair, WKYT. Everyone was able to make it out of that building safely. Firefighters believe the fire was caused by an electrical malfunction. New tonight, Governor Bevin has vetoed some bills passed on the last day of the legislative session, among them a bill that would create a new Kentucky driver's license to comply with the new federal security standards in the Real ID Act. The governor had said he supported the new license, but changed his mind after seeing what he called tremendous opposition to the bill. He also vetoed a bill that would have given some high school graduates free community college tuition this fall. The program will now have to wait until next year. House Speaker Greg Stump reacted to that veto by saying, quote, no forward thinking governor would have acted in this way. The governor also vetoed an item in the state budget that would make more children eligible for public preschool programs. He said the state couldn't afford it. Today, former Governor Steve Bashir fired back at Governor Matt Bevin, who accused Bashir of wrongdoing during, during his time in office. Last week, Governor Bevin said he had hired a private law firm to investigate the Bashir administration. During a news conference this morning, Bashir said the governor has declared war on his family. He also claimed Governor Bevin bullied some Democratic lawmakers into switching parties and is unethically raising money to cover campaign debt. Matt Bevin does, doesn't give me any choice because he started this food fight that he enjoys instead of governing. Also today, Bashir released his tax returns from his final year in office. It shows he and his wife earned more than $350,000 in 2015 from salary, investments, rental income, and Social Security benefits. He criticized Governor Bevin for not releasing his tax returns. Governor Bevin is out of the country on an economic development trip, but in a statement, he said Bashir is just trying to protect what's left of his legacy. And he called all of his statements today baseless accusations. Kentucky Republican Party leaders said the same. I could provide no, no examples, no evidence, no proof. Uh, this is purely a desperate man trying to cling to what is left of his public legacy. Okay. Republicans also criticized Bashir's decision to hold his news conference while Governor Bevin was out of state, but Bashir said he didn't know the governor was traveling when he scheduled it. Donald Trump is telling his supporters he feels he's about to win the Republican presidential nomination. But today, rival Ted Cruz said he's not giving up as he made a surprise announcement. Greg Boswell has the latest from both Republican and Democratic campaigns. Donald Trump told a crowd in Indiana his rival Ted Cruz made history when he prematurely teamed up with Carly Fiorina. He is the first presidential candidate in the history of this country who's mathematically eliminated from becoming president who chose a vice presidential candidate okay cruz announced fiorina as a running mate after losing five states to trump tuesday night ted cruz's purpose my purpose is to unify the party by talking about the things that matter. Trump stuck to the issues earlier Wednesday, delivering a foreign policy speech to an invited audience in Washington. The Republican and Democratic frontrunners are each trying to shift from primary mode to the general election and are also targeting one another. 
Clinton is taking exception to Trump's comment that she played the woman card. If fighting for women's health care and paid family leave and equal pay is playing the woman card, then deal me in. Bernie Sanders' campaign laid off hundreds of field staffers Wednesday, but he's not giving up. You know what? Unusual things happen in politics. Sanders' aides say they're using most of their resources on winning California in June. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. Up next for the candidates is Indiana, which will hold its primary on Tuesday. Former UK basketball star Ed Davener rushed to the hospital after friends say he suffered a massive heart attack. An update in 15 minutes. But first, police say they found a Kentucky boy with something dangerous that now has his grandparents facing charges. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million. And you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. At Gates Honda in Richmond, our grand opening will be low key. No hot dogs, balloons, loud music, no gorillas. We have great deals waiting for you on over a hundred new Hondas. At Gates Honda in Richmond, we sell new Hondas for less because we can. Here's a fun way to control your luck. It's a game called Kino. You can start with one buck. You pick your numbers, your odds, and your wager. And the winnings, well, they could be major. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. A few minutes later, you can play it again. Now play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. At Gates Honda in Richmond, we want to service your Honda, regardless of where you bought it. We believe that once you've experienced our service department, you'll never go anywhere else to service or purchase your Honda. Come see us at Gates Honda on the bypass in Richmond. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. We continue to be in a rather stormy pattern across central and eastern Kentucky. Waves of thunderstorms making their way throughout the region over the past few days. And guess what? That continues out there right now. It's a busy first alert defender radar network. And we are looking across the entire area, picking up on showers and thunderstorms rumbling on into town. Let's start you out across the bluegrass area at right now with showers and storms stretching from Georgetown right on into downtown Lexington, Nicholasville, and in northern parts of Garrett County. This line is moving quickly to the east northeast at around 45 miles per hour and at that pace it'll be into Richmond here in just a matter of a few minutes Mount Sterling before midnight Stanton right at midnight if not just a few ticks of the clock after let's take you up close to personal Georgetown Toyota plant Scott County High School down toward Marshall Park showers thunderstorms here packing a bit of a punch nothing is considered to be severe so that is certainly the good news yes they are noisy noisy does not mean Severe. Masterson Station, north side of town, Sandersville Road, down toward Meadowthorpe, getting in on some uh, thunder, some lightning, and heavy rains. Downtown Lexington, you've got about two minutes before the heaviest stuff begins to work on in. From out near Bluegrass Airport, the Keeneland area, Stonewall Estates, getting in on uh, some thunder and lightning. That heavy rain extends to the west of Nicholasville toward Danville into Boyle County and right on top of Casey County. Casey County, we've been hit hard over the past several hours by repeat showers and thunderstorms. That'll head into Stanford and uh, the Waynesburg area. Somerset, living on borrowed storm time. It's about ready to crash into Monticello, Whitley City, Mount Victory, 
as well. Broaden out the view to track this end of the storm toward the east at around 45 miles an hour. That will put it toward Whitley City, uh, Mount Vernon, London just before midnight and toward Gray into the western part of Knox County just before or just after midnight. Another little renegade cluster of thunderstorms is cranked up southeastern Kentucky, Hyden to Hazard, down into parts of Harlan County with thunder and lightning. That once was considered to be severe. No real reports from that. Back to our west. We have a cold front still to come across central and eastern Kentucky. Until we get that front through here, we got to contend with the rounds of thunderstorms through the day tomorrow. Good news about tomorrow, the stuff's going to be much more scattered. Heavy rains, though, the main threat overnight. Mainly dry Friday. If you're looking for a day to get out, do a little yard work. Friday is your day because by the weekend, the rains return with the potential for some heavy rounds of rainfall with more thunderstorms. Hour by hour forecast, hot off the presses. It's brand new. Noon tomorrow, 73. Tomorrow afternoon, notice it's much more isolated. For those showers and storms, we may tickle 80 degrees before the day is through. Tomorrow night at this time, upper 50s. How about that Friday forecast? 50-ish to start out the day. Into the afternoon, though, most areas should be into the 70s. And look at that. Plenty of sunshine for your Friday. Not a sign of things to come, unfortunately. Consider late tomorrow into Friday as kind of a little break in the action. Because by the time we hit Saturday and Sunday, while I don't expect it to rain, Every hour on the hour, we're going to have additional waves of some showers and storms, putting down some heavy rains. Kentucky Derby Week is next week. Right now, I wish I had a little better news. It looks to be unsettled and cooler than normal for the middle of next week. Guys, the storms that are out there now, not considered to be severe. They're going to be noisy, though, so if you're a light <laughs> sleeper, you're going to be up with me for a while. A little bumpy tonight, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll be in here through the night just to keep you safe. All right, Chris, we appreciate it. Thank you. The governor of Tennessee has signed a controversial religious freedom bill who he says it will protect in eight minutes. We're the McCoy family, and welcome to our show. That's our show. Now go enjoy yours. We invited you here today to get your honest opinion about this new car. To keep things unbiased, we removed all the badging and logos. So what do you think it is? Reminds me a little bit of like an Audi. I would say Lexus. Maybe Acura. What if I told you this is the 2016 Chevy Malibu? Wow. This is a Malibu? Qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months on this Chevy Malibu. Or find your tag and get $2,000 total cash allowance. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win, and a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination, funding education. The new Royal Blizzard is a blizzard breakthrough. But what's the science behind the fudge suspended inside? Let's begin. Cross teleportation. Uh oh. Centrifugal force. It's not working. Liquid nitrogen. Lasers. Guys, I actually fill the blizzard with fudge. Science! Experience the all new Royal Blizzard lineup, like the Royal Oreo filled with a vortex of creamy fudge for a blizzard breakthrough. This is fan food, not fast food. I could get used to this. I could get used to this. The luxuriously transformed 2016 Lexus ES and ES Hybrid. I could get used to this. Once you experience this level of luxury, I could get used to this. There's no going back. Lease the 2016 ES 350 for 339 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. We're the Swartzes from Omaha. Welcome to our show. Tonight, a Harlan County couple facing charges. Police say their five-year-old grandson walked away from their home with a bottle of pills. Loyal police say the child had a bottle of melatonin, which is used for sleep support. They say the child showed up at a nearby home, and the people there took him to the police department. 
there was supposed to be 120 pills in that bottle. When we done the pill count, there was 117. The child had told them that he had took one, that his granny had given him one to help him take a nap. Police arrested the grandparents, Fred and Shelly Jones. They're charged with wanton endangerment and endangering the welfare of a minor. Police say the couple had been caring for the boy. They didn't want to talk from jail today. A University of Kentucky fraternity has been suspended for five years. UK leaders say they found evidence of hazing. A complaint filed against Phi Kappa Psi claimed the fraternity forced students to drink alcohol until they threw up, then exercised next to it. It also claims students suffered sleep deprivation and humiliation. UK leaders say the fraternity cooperated with their investigation. The university says members of the fraternity have to clear out of the fraternity house in the next few weeks, but UK leaders would not comment on any punishment for specific students. If there has been an allegation that an individual student has, has violated the student code of conduct, that, that just I'm speaking generally, that gets reviewed and that is handled within the context of our student code of conduct. The fraternity has been suspended from campus at UK until 2021. At that time, the fraternity can reapply to be allowed back on campus. New tonight, an Eastern Kentucky attorney accused in a massive disability benefit scheme wants his trial to be delayed. Eric C. Khan is scheduled to go on trial in federal court in June, but in a motion filed this week, his attorneys, along with attorneys for the other two defendants, Judge David Daudry and Dr. Alfred Atkins, ask for a delay. Prosecutors said in court filings they don't oppose the motion because the case is complex. A judge hasn't ruled on the motion. Khan and the two other men are accused of working together to get $600 million out of the government. Tonight, investigators are trying to find those responsible for vandalizing two parks in Williamsburg. Police say the vandals left some obscene graffiti around Briar Creek Park and set some small fires. They say the vandals also tried to start a fire at Bill Woods Park, then damaged part of a fountain. We spent thousands of dollars on this fountain, and they've broken uh, the electrical part of it. The Williamsburg mayor thinks repairing all the damage will be expensive. New tonight, Ford has announced it's recalling more than 200,000 vehicles. The company wants to fix a transmission issue. Ford leaders say automatic transmissions in these vehicles can suddenly downshift to first gear. The recall covers the 2011 and 2012 F-150 and the 2012 Expedition, Mustang, and Lincoln Navigator. Ford says the problem has not caused any injuries. New tonight, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam has signed a bill that allows mental health counselors to refuse to treat patients based on religious beliefs. Supporters say the bill protects the rights of therapists, but the American Counseling Association called it an unprecedented attack on the counseling profession. Opponents also say it's part of a wave of bills around the country legalizing discrimination against gays. An ex-wildcat is fighting for his life tonight. We will have the latest on Ed Davender. One of his teammates brings us up to date. And does Matthew Mitchell feels he's hard to work with? He talked today about the upheaval in his program. That's next in sports. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. The Buy 4, Save 4 sale is on now. Mix and match great items like Pepsi, Doritos, Bounty Paper Towels, and more. Great food, low prices at Kroger. My dad always said God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as you talk if you want to get things done. I moved my office from the top floor to the first floor when I was elected mayor to hear people's ideas. I took their ideas and cut waste, turned a deficit into a surplus, and helped create thousands of jobs. I'm Jim Gray, and I approve this message. Because both parties have good ideas, it just takes someone to listen. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $118 million.
Minnesota on Nicholasville is proud to present our all-new rewards program. Now rewarding points for almost everything. Service your Toyota. Points. New tires. Points. Visit the cafe. Points. Take a test drive. Points. Buy a Toyota. Lots of points. Redeem, Redeem your, your points, points for service appointments, appointments merchandise, merchandise, a new car, and more. Check out the all-new rewards program at Toyota. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. Toyota on Nicholasville.com. Sing the jingle. Points. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve. And be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger for center cut pork chops for just $1.99 a pound and red tomatoes on the vine for only 99 cents a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. At Paul Miller Ford, we want all our customers to drive happy. I am Paul Miller's number one fan. My experience buying a car from Paul Miller was great. They were very friendly. My salesman was awesome. That's why we're honored to win our third Ford President's Award for customer satisfaction. Head on down to Paul Miller. They will take care of you and treat you right. Come visit our President's Award sales event and save with 0% financing for 60 months on select Ford vehicles like Bill's. Point click drive at paulmillerford.com. How fast is it? Plenty fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's, it's how, how well, well you mow, mow fast. fast. It's how well you mow fast! It's how well you mow fast. Even if it doesn't catch on, doesn't mean it's not true. The John Deere Z-Track Z535M with our re-engineered deck to mow faster, better. Get deer season savings at Meat Tractor. At Meat Tractor, you get the best with a standard four-year warranty. We're told former Wildcat Ed Davender suffered a serious heart attack, and the latest word on him came early this evening from one of his teammates, Kenny Walker. Walker said, There have been many speculations throughout the day about my former teammate and dear friend, Ed, friend Ed, Ed Davender. Contrary to some reports, Ed is alive and still fighting for his life. Keep him and his family and all of his many friends in your thoughts and your prayers. Davender was a breakthrough recruit for Joby Hall. He came out of New York City. He was an outstanding point guard who ended up playing his last three years under Eddie Sutton and alongside Rex Chapman the last two. He's 11th on the all-time scoring list, 8th in assists and 4th in steals. He was a very hard-working, uh, gave a great effort on the sport, both offense and defense, and uh, contributed. He contributed his freshman year. He wasn't a great shooter, but he was a scorer, and uh, he did a great job. Davender showed you. UK women's coach Matthew Mitchell talking this afternoon about the upheaval in his program. He's lost three assistant coaches since the end of the season and six players since last fall. Mitchell blamed himself for the problems. He said he's optimistic about the future, but he has to communicate better. Mitchell said he doesn't believe he's hard to work with. As far as me being hard to work with, I will definitely take a look at that and I will definitely examine myself and have examined myself. And trust me, there's been many nights that I've been laying there awake thinking about all the success that we've had on the court and all the success we've had in the classroom and all the success we've had in the community and the fans that come through that door. And, and there are times you're thinking, you know, what, what have you done wrong here? And I want to make sure that I get that, that right. Mitchell formally announced the return of Kyra Elsey to his staff today. She worked under him for four years before leaving for Tennessee where she played. Elsey will likely be the Cats recruiting coordinator. And Mitchell acknowledged his program will come under attack on the recruiting trail. Kentucky had a late night win over Dayton last night. The Cats right back in action this evening against the Miami Red Hawks. And in the second inning, Riley Mahan with a drive to deep center. This one kicks off the wall. Javon Shelby comes around on the double and the Cats take the early lead. Still in the second, Troy Squires at the plate. He strokes one into right field and that scores Mahan to make it 2-0 Kentucky. 
Time of the fourth inning. It's now a 4 nothing game. Storm Wilson hits it just fair down the right field line. Two runs crossed to make it 6 nothing. Cats. Game is called because of lightning. 11-1 is the final. Kentucky and Louisville on the softball diamond. In the top of the seventh, Cats down one nothing. Abby Cheek hits one to short. Too hot to handle. Tying run comes in to score from second. And then Brooklyn Hines up with two down. She delivers a base hit back up the middle. Cheek comes in to score the go-ahead run. Kelsey Nunley put the side down in the bottom of the seventh inning. UK pulls it out by a final of two to one. The Reds trying to avoid a sweep tonight in New York. Tied 1-1 in the first. Neil Walker with a RBI single to give the Mets the lead. 2-1. The Mets add to it in the third. Again, it's Walker. This time, solo home run. Gone to center. That made it 3-2. Reds came back, scored a run. Made it 3-2. But in the sixth, Michael Conforto with extra bases to left center. Two runs come around to score. And the final there is 5-2. The Reds have lost 11 straight to the Mets. That is the longest streak ever. NFL draft begins tomorrow night with round one. They will continue on with rounds two and three tomorrow. That will be on Friday, rather. No expense of EKU hoping to be selected in the first three rounds. We'll be right back. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, redesigned 2016 Civics, the number one selling compact car, just $179 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Civics, with available Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $179 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. If you have questions about overtime violations or the wage and hour laws in our state, visit ForThePeople.com to learn more. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Green Toyota of Lexington wants to sell 48 Camrys in 48 hours. Hurry in this weekend and receive an extra $500 bonus cash on all new 2016 Camry models. Combine the $500 bonus cash with the $1,500 customer cash and receive $2,000 in instant savings. Or qualified buyers can take advantage of 0% APR and $500 bonus cash. Look for our Green Saver coupon and save up to $5,000 off MSRP on select models. 48 Camrys in 48 hours. Going on now at Green's Toyota. Great people. Great cars. Great Greens. With a heavy-duty welded steel deck and exclusive smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler Mower at Southern States Co-op of London and Valley Farm Equipment in Science Hill. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. May 3rd and 4th, EKU Center for the Arts. Get tickets at EKUCenter.com. We're pleased to announce that we now have Honda in Richmond, which means you can shop and compare the four leading brands all in one location. So where else can you shop and compare the four best brands, be only minutes from Fayette County, work with one salesperson, and only have to have your car appraised once? For your convenience, out of respect for your time, we now offer Gates Honda, Gates Hyundai, Gates Nissan, and Toyota South all on the bypass in Richmond. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, less than a minute away here on WKYT. Tonight's guests include Susan Sarandon and David Tennant.
Sir, sort of right on cue. Literally, it is pounding the rain right now here at the Can studio. you hear it, folks? <laughs> if not, let me show it to you. We look at our Defender Radar Network and a line of thunderstorms racing eastward across the bluegrass region now that extends toward uh, London, Somerset, uh, and Corbin, and that's racing to the east. No warnings are out. It's more of a noisemaker than anything else. Some gusty winds, highest wind gusts I've seen so far. It's only been around 37 miles an hour over the past hour or so into parts of central Kentucky. Heavy rain, some thunder, and some lightning. For some of you, I guess the rain's good sleeping weather. The thunder, <laughs> not so much. You got your cot ready to go? Yeah, I'll be here a while. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.